what is meditative masturbation and why do I teach it? Um, gosh, five years ago, I was listening to a lot of podcasts about sexuality and relationships. And one of them was featuring the wonderful woman, Kim Money, vaginal weightlifter. And she said that she recommended all of her clients do 30 days of self-pleasure. And at that time, I was like, ooh, I never really touch myself. I never really pleasure myself. I kind of expect my partner to do that. Shit, that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> so I was like, I have to do it. That's the thing I have to do. So I started this. And some of you who've followed me for a while might know that I started with Sex with Sarah. So we, um, I did this a few times, two or three times on Instagram and Facebook. And I created a Facebook group to share it and for us to chat. It was pretty revolutionary work. A lot came up. <laughs> Challenge, pleasure, trauma, pain, emotions, all the things. Um, and so that's why I did it again and again and again. And then in 2019, I was, um, I'd been trained in, in Tantra before that. And uh, I was reading more and learning more about sex magic and the powers of manifestation through the sex and the energy of sex and orgasm and how that's so powerful, that energy. But also, if you're not super clear about that energy, um, you can actually manifest the shadow side of what you want as opposed to what you want. So, little caveat. <laughs> And that's when I was like, okay, I have to be really clear about what I'm doing here and what I'm teaching with this meditative masturbation. Um, so I don't call it sex magic anymore because actually the practice for me is a solo practice. It's all about clearing your own energy and being good with your own energy, um, being really mindful about it. So I have rules. I don't like the word rules, but we have guidelines to help um, focus and direct that energy. And... Um, to be able to create what we want, but also heal ourselves too. Um, for women, a lot of us have experienced some sort of trauma, even if it's just putting a tampon in there, you know, like we've had foreign objects inside of us. So it's really important to take the time to care about that and to spend time with it and us. And um, for men too, I mean, you guys have had so much information misinformation about about your own um self-pleasure and and there's a lot that can come up there too so this whole course deals with being good to you honoring your sexuality honoring that you are a sexual being but also following that principle of brahmacharya in yoga moderation and, and bringing healthy wholeness to our sexuality so we're not, we're not celibate. We're not monks. <laughs> I could go on about my year of celibacy. Um, that was part of this whole thing, but, <laughs> but, um, yeah. Anyway, that's a little bit about what I'm doing, why I created it. And it's really, really magical to do every single day, even though some days it's a challenge and you just show up and you don't have to um, follow any penetration or any movement you can just breathe with your heart um, but I'll share more about that in the course so message me with any questions